Imagine if you could rewire your brain in just 90 days. With the right strategies rooted in neuroscience, you can actually reshape your brain's neural pathways, making it possible to break old habits, form new ones, and enhance cognitive functions. Welcome to the world of neuroplasticity, the science that shows how your brain adapts and changes throughout life. Stick around as we dive into the technical process of rewiring your brain and the profound transformations that follow. Welcome to 90 Days Better, where we explore the power of how incorporating better habits can unlock your full potential. Today, we'll break down the process of neuroplasticity and guide you through a 90-day journey of rewiring your brain for lasting change. We'll examine brain chemistry, neuronal connections, and how to harness your brain's natural plasticity. Later on, we'll share a fascinating fact about how your brain processes habit formation at the molecular level. Let's begin. So, why is change so difficult? The answer lies in your brain's individual makeup. Neurons that fire together, wire together. This heavy in theory explains how habitual behaviors and thought patterns are ingrained. Repeated behaviors create strong neural pathways, making it harder to break free from bad habits. For instance, the prefrontal cortex, responsible for decision-making, often loses out to the more primal areas like the basal ganglia, which governs habit formation. However, with the right interventions, you can weaken these old pathways and build new ones. So, how would we override these powerful pathways if we started today? In the first week, the goal is to disrupt old patterns. At a neurological level, this requires a conscious effort to stop firing the same neural circuits. This is when neuroplasticity starts working. Your brain begins to dispose of connections that aren't being used through a process called synaptic pruning. Activities like mindfulness and cognitive behavioral therapy help your prefrontal cortex take control, weakening the old autonomous habits governed by the basal ganglia. During this stage, your brain is laying the foundation for new synaptic connections to form. By weeks two through four, the new neural connections begin to strengthen. Plasticity doesn't just happen overnight, it's a process that requires repeated intentional conditioning to make the new pathways more permanent. This is when synaptogenesis, the formation of new synapses between neurons, occurs. Repetition of a new habit leads to increased myelination, a process where neural pathways are insulated, allowing faster and more efficient transmission of electrical signals. In simpler terms, the more you practice a new habit, the stronger and more efficient the neural circuits become. Think of it as creating a superhighway in your brain. Over time, the path becomes faster and more automatic. Around month two, we reach a critical stage, neural consolidation. The hippocampus, the part of the brain responsible for memory, plays a major role here. During consolidation, short-term memories and new behaviors are stabilized and transferred into long-term storage. Research shows that sleep is crucial during this stage. Deep sleep cycles help the brain integrate new information and skills. By now, the new habit or thought pattern you've been practicing starts to feel more natural as your brain moves from conscious effort to automatic processing. By month three, the rewiring process has reached its peak. What was once a conscious, effortful behavior has now become part of your brain's default mode. This is due to long-term potentiation, a process where synapses strengthen with repeated activity. Essentially, your neurons are firing more efficiently and the brain networks involved in this new habit are now well established. Your prefrontal cortex has more control over decision-making and old patterns have been weakened through synaptic pruning. This rewired brain is better equipped to handle challenges, form new habits, and sustain mental resilience. Let's break down the science of Hebbian learning, often summarized as cells that fire together, wire together. This principle explains how our neurons develop new connections. When two neurons are activated at the same time, their synaptic connection strengthens. Over time, Repetitive activation of these neurons leads to a lasting change in the brain circuitry. Conversely, if neurons are not activated together, their connection weakens. This is how we break old habits. Hebbian learning is the foundation of how neuroplasticity works in everyday life. Here's that fascinating fact we promised. Did you know your brain can generate new neurons well into adulthood? This is possible through a process called neurogenesis. But here's the fun part. Physical activities, aerobic exercise, and learning new skills, like the ones we cover in other videos, can significantly boost neurogenesis. 
Studies have shown that regular exercise increases the production of brain-derived neurotrophic factor, a protein that promotes neuron growth leading to better memory, mood, and cognitive flexibility. So by staying active, you're literally building a better brain. Reflect on your journey. Before starting, your brain was stuck in familiar, repetitive patterns. But now, after three months of intentional practice, you've reshaped those pathways. The synaptic connections supporting your new habits are stronger, while old patterns have faded away. You've essentially built a new brain, one that's more efficient, resilient, and adaptable. Rewiring your brain is a scientific process and it's something you can achieve in just 90 days with consistent effort. If you've enjoyed the content, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more insights on how to optimize your life. From health and wellness to fitness and finance, we've got you covered. After all, you may be just one habit away from changing your life for the better. Share your progress in the comments and don't forget to check the description for additional tools and resources. Until next time, stay motivated and keep growing.